Hi everybody, this is the section 3 of our course. In this section we will explore the ways that Watson can be used for building your chart books. So in this way we will center our study on the conversational API that Watson provides you. So what we will learn in this section. First we will have two videos showing the Watson Assistant training. Watson Assistant is the name of the API for building chatbots, for building conversational systems. After these two videos, we will have a brief introduction to the Discovery Services. The Discovery Services is one of the most powerful APIs because in some way uh, you can teach Watson how to read and interpret some open text that you can use to provide uh, advanced answers in case you don't have the um, final answer in the Watson Assistant. And then in the last videos, we will have to build your own chatbot. So we will see a sample of Watson in action for your own intents or your own entities. So let's start with the Watson Assistant training. In Watson Assistant training, we will explore the main components of Watson Assistant and we will have a deep dive of the intents part. So let's start. So first, let's start by reviewing what is a conversation. A conversation is a multi term interaction between two parties, the user and Watson. So in this way, the user types some question or some request in natural language, and then Watson interprets, understands what the user is trying to do, and then gives its corresponding answer. So uh, what is the main difference from this approach uh, against the previous approach that were used in the past? The main point is that you use the natural language interaction. So this means that this is not a menu-based navigation. So for example, maybe about some years ago, you saw some chatbots that mainly show you a set of buttons, a set of menu options that you have to click in order to navigate through some set of complicated options. In some way, it resembles some IBRs, uh, so an interactive voice response that you use to talk in, over the phone. So uh, the main difference with the conversation, the Watson Assistant API, is that you use the natural language for doing your queries. You are not constrained by a, a mini-based navigation. And the second one is that this is not a bad of word processing. So for example, in these two sentences, how can I buy a phone? And where do I buy your new phone? Uh, previous uh, approaches says, okay, I will look for keywords. So I will say in the first one, the keywords are buy and phone. And in the second sentence, the keywords are also and phone. So uh, for these both cases, it will be give the same response. But as you can see, these are two very different sentences. In the first one, you are trying to understand the process of buying a new phone and in the second one you are asking for a location for a price so uh, in the end these are two different purposes from the end user so uh, this back of words processing system were not very good at, at understanding what the user means to do so uh, Watson does not use a back of words processing approach, but instead it uses a set of algorithms to un try to understand what the user is trying to accomplish, to trying to do with the system. So the building blocks of a conversational system are these three ones. So uh, at first you have the intents. The intents in some way tries to uh, the right try to understand what is the purpose of your interaction and then the entities and the dialogue flow try to script the interaction between Watson and the end user. So in this first video we will look at the intent part of the Watson API. So an intent as I told you earlier reflects the objective or purpose of a sentence. So, uh, in these two different sentences, where are you located and how do I get to your office? 
the main intent behind this tool is to ask for a location, ask for a place, for a physical store or something like that. Uh, even if you write it with different words, different structure and so on, uh, we as humans understand that the main purpose are the same for these two different sentences. So in some way, we also teach Watson to identify the intent behind a sentence. So uh, you teach Watson with some example for each one of the intents that you teach to your cognitive system. These are the data. When Watson receives a new text from the end user, for example, where is your office? We'll try to compare against the training that it has received. So it, it will say, for example, where is your office is very similar to the sentence, where are you located? And also it's very similar to how do I get to your office? So it would conclude that you are asking for the same ty type of intent. So it will say, okay, you are asking me for a location. So I will give the corresponding answer. So remember, intents are the natural language processing and machine learning part of the Watson Assistant API. So it classifies your input text against the list of different intents that you have teach your system. So let's explore what sample of this kind of thing that you can use with Watson. So let's go to our IBM Cloud account. And then in the catalog, you will look for the Watson API. We will select the Watson Assistant. This was probably called conversation. So maybe you can find a lot of documentation in the internet with the name Watson Conversation, but it's the same API with some minor improvements. So if you click on this one, we will create a new service in order to train Watson. Uh, you can give it the name that you want. So I will call my service Watson Assist, for example, and then I will click on create. And now uh, the IBM Cloud platform is creating the service for me. So uh, you can find some tutorials and some samples that you can explore. But now we are going to launch the tool. The tool is the place where you show examples to Watson, where you try your chatbot, where you script your dialogue flow and so on. So in this section, we will interact a little with the tool for training Watson Assistant. So if I click here on the launch tool button, then it will take me to this new screen. In these new screens, you have uh, some step-by-step -step tutorials, but let's create a workspace. So now I will click here. Okay, this creates a new workspace. And for now, we will be exploring this sample workspace. The workspace is the place where you put all your examples, you create your chatbots and so on. We will return to this on the last video of this section. So in the first one, we will click on lead sample. And now it is creating the workspace for this customer service sample. So as you can see, here you have the intents part. In the intents, you have the different categories, the different classifiers that Watson use for classifying the input text. So as you can see, this is a chatbot for handling customer care appointments, customer care requests. So we can explore, for example, the intent customer care store hours, and then we will see how Watson was trained. So now uh, in the user example, we are saying, okay, Watson, when the people type something similar to, are these stores open early? Are you close New Jersey? Are you closing early today? And so on. We have a lot of sample here. Watson, please consider this as customer care store hours. So this is the name of the intent. You can identify this because it used this special symbol. So uh, every time you see this special symbol, then you can see that it is an intent. But let's look at another intent sample. So uh, I can say also goodbye to Watson. Uh, when I 
type, for example, are you better as you buy, shall, goodbye, and so on. I am teaching Watson that each one of these sentences means goodbye. So, in some way, uh, here is the part where you show Watson samples. So, here is the point where you show your data, and Watson use machine learning under the covers to understand what is the intent behind the, the sentence. So this is the first part of the Watson Assistant API, the intent. This is the place where you teach Watson how to identify the purpose behind a sentence. 